So listening is a trust building exercise, right? If you've, if you're in a, take it down to a personal relationship. If you've been in a, if, if you've ever had a romantic relationship, a loved one, right? Um, um, making someone feel heard doesn't mean you're wrong. Saying sorry doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means you take accountability for your, for your actions. And I think it is important that when somebody objects to vaccination, that we don't demonize or villainize them, but we attempt to hear them, make them feel heard. Doesn't mean we have to agree, but they have to feel heard. And you know, uh, uh, listening is not hearing the words. It, you know, it's making the other person feel that they were heard. It's, it's, it, 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 we don't get to decide when, when hearing has happened, when listening has happened, they do. And, and by the way, it's not 100% successful either, you know, because some people are just hell-bent on, and it, and, but that's a minority. And so I think the exercise of sitting down with people and say, tell me, tell me what's, what you're going through, tell me what you're afraid of. I, I want to understand, because we're trying to make everyone safe. I, I, want, to, I want to hear what, what your thing is. And let them tell their story. We have no answers. We're not there to object. We're not there to react. We're not there to fix or tell them that they're wrong. Women are better than this than men. Um, uh, uh, uh. And I think that has to happen. And it can happen simultaneously. They are not mutually exclusive. Um, I'll give you one, one example, which is I have a friend who uh, refused to get vaccinated. And I sat down with her and I said, tell me, tell me your reasoning, right? She goes, well, um, this new technology, like I don't wanna, we don't know, it hasn't been out long enough. Like we don't know. So what I hear is fear of the unknown, okay? I go, go on. And she, I let her talk and say her thing and explain all the, the things and I, and, and then, and I simply said, so you're afraid of the mRNA technology, right? Yes. I don't want them screwing with my DNA. I said, well, just so you know, it's 20-year-old technology, but then I found something I could agree with her. But, but you're right. It is the first time it's been commercialized. You're absolutely right. It's the first time we've put it in the market. So I affirmed her fear. And then I said, do you get flu shots every year? She goes, I do. I said, okay, Johnson & Johnson is a good old-fashioned flu shot. It's a different technology. It's not mRNA. So I, you're 100% right. If you're afraid of, of the new technology, don't get Moderna or Pfizer. But Johnson & Johnson, is, it's just like a flu shot. It's the same old tech. And she went, it is? I went, it is. She went and got a Moderna shot. <laughs> <laughs> because she just wanted to be heard. Because most of her friends, when she said, I'm not getting vaccinated, yelled at her, told her she was stupid, told her she's an idiot, told her she's letting her friends down, told her she's making other people sick, told her she's a risk to society. That doesn't make somebody's mind open up. All I did was let her feel heard. I think we do. We can't. We have to do that. <laughs>